Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mercedes-Benz S-Class W221. The quality of the body painting and treatment was taken very seriously this time. Even cars from the thos of the United States have decent anti-corrosion protection, not to mention dealer cars with Russian ancestry. Corrosion, of course, occurs, but mainly these are the consequences of paint chips in vulnerable places. On the doors, on the each of the fenders, door openings, the hood in the places where the clips for fastening the plastic body parts are installed. And corrosion is usually minimal. Such cars are monitored very well and all problem areas are repainted right away. The car looks like new for many years. Why else it is needed at all? Over time, other elements of the body also wear out. The headlights are dim, the windows are worn out, the chrome fades. And the plastic parts of the bottom, lockers and enters are also destroyed. Less common are cases of peeling of the stone proofing coatings of the rear arches from bottom and bottom. This is not very noticeable at first and usually leads to extensive damage to the paintwork in the places that are closed from sight. Aluminum front end parts, when used in Moscow, can have corrosion problems near attachment points, for example at the screws or rivets of the hood hinges. They are worth checking because the cost of these elements is really premium, so a new hood costs more than 100,000 rubles. It is clear that you can find it cheaper for this assembly by the cost of the original forms the corresponding pricing policy of grey sealers. The interior and body equipment are generally not a hassle, but you should carefully check the condition of the trapezoid of the wipers, it is prone to zeroing. Also do not forget to access the condition of the drainage under the windshield. There are a lot of electronics here, then this will lead to large expenses and it is difficult to eliminate the part. You often have to punch the drainage tubes from below. The resource of the fan of the heating system is about 6 to 8 years, which is quite decent, but the replacement price is too high. The pneumatic valves of the climate control are separate for the front and rear rows of seats, and in the front one is located quite traditionally, in the engine compartment, and it can only leak. Then the rear row system is located in the niche in of, of the front wheel and corner is over from dirt and moisture. The automatic door closer system is very reliable, just do not need to worry about periodic but rare malfunctions on aged cars. There can be a lot of reasons, from low voltage in the board network to dirty pneumatics, moisture in the system and similar indirect rifles. Perfectionists have very high costs. The actuators are usually replaced complete with locks, the PSE pump also costs a lot, and the electronic filling from micro switches to the control unit can also hamper it. Complete system fillers are rare, but over time the number of fillers increases. A neat bulk head with cleaning often helps. In the salons of cars that are used as personal ones, they do not complain about the quality of the elements, but on working cars, the driver's work place usually doesn't stand up. The upholstery of the driver's seat and steering wheel are being rented. Scuffs appear on the door trim and the steering column switch. Sometimes the driver's door window lifter surrenders to a run of hundreds of thousands of kilometers, but the rear shelf and drawers under the seats begin to knock corner with age. The panoramic sunroof doesn't like dusty roads and poor maintenance. For the rest, if there are any sounds or noises on the move, then this is a result of damage or careless assembly after repair or maintenance. Problems with the interior electrics are rare and are usually airbag or steering wheel button failures. Moreover, the multimedia system is still a little, but it malfunctions as in all cars with complex complexes. Most electronic components and wiring are very sensitive to moisture in the flooring and the slightest problem in this area, usually due to clogged drainage, which I mentioned above, the number of problems increases by orders of magnitude. Electric seat drives, cabin comfort units, climate control, navigation and multimedia begin to fail. Optics, which also need to be inspected carefully, are simply expensive, complex, and there are almost no non-original for them. In front, in bike synonym headlights, the reflector burns out and light switching unit fails. The headlight and ignition unit also fails. Their tightness is not absolute, most often this happens after washing or getting into a puddle. In the rear lights, the LEDs go out little by little and sometimes the whole lamp suddenly ceases to show signs of life. Only opening or replacement helps. Dremel to help you. Non-original Taibanese are noticeably different in appearance and quality. The condition of the radiator pants will tell a lot about the operating style of the car. If the car stood for hours waiting for its VIP client with the engine turned on in the heat, then the wear of the fans will tell about this better than the mileage readings. On average, fans need to be replaced as early as the 5th or 8th year of life. If we neglect the replacement, then there will be a lot of surprises, both from the motor with automatic transmission and from other systems. And over time, the engine control unit for the 272M273 and, and all other gasoline engines and the small 2.1 diesel engine starts to malfunction. 
In a diesel engine there is a structural flow in the unit itself and it manifests itself almost always. But in gasoline units the reason is usually a constantly high temperature and a gradual loss of tightness, which ultimately leads to either the loss of contacts inside the unit or to large-scale corrosion. Sometimes the reason is chip tuning, while the control unit case is opened from one side. Unfortunately it is not so easy to open the lid and fix it. Often inexperienced craftsmen simply tear, tear up microcircuits from the board along with the lid when trying to repair. The price of the original block is for 100,000 and from 20,000 for a used one, which you will still need to open and flash the correct software. By the way, open failures of the control unit lead to problems of the hardware of the motor. Its design is very delicate. On the S class, the malfunction manifests itself more often than the on E class due to the peculiarities of the operation of such cars. And the point here is not only that the company cars trash at idle for a long time, they also have more powerful air conditioners, and the temperature of the engine compartment as a result is noticeably higher. Relatively frequent failures of ABS sensors are primarily associated with the operation of the air suspension and the wiring features. It turns out to be long and is often damaged. The masters know about the problem, it is treated quite inexpensively if we are talking about restoration and not particularly budgetary, if the sensor changes with the wiring assembly and the issue price is from 500,000 troubles. You cannot expect any special dirty tricks from this side. Suspensions are ununified with armored and long wheelbase versions, so that on ordinary short settings and longs it has a very large margin of safety. The price of course bites, besides the bolt joints change alone with the levers, but collective farming is also widely used with the replacement of the actual joints and silent box. The price of the issue is only 2050-3000 rubles for the restoration of the lever against 20-25000 for a new one. More criticism is caused by the air suspension. At the age of 5, the risk of its failure increases from unlikely to we'll be waiting one of these days. And then everything depends on the way of solving the problem. If there are new original racks, the compressor and its filter are in order and the sensors are intact, then they forget about the suspension for another 5 years. But more often the restoration games begin, since the price of the issue is more than 120,000 for one wheel. They are usually covered in pairs, two across in case of simple exhaustion of the resource and two alone after the unsuccessful heat in the pit. In this case, pneumatics add a little unpredictability to the comfort and safety of the machine. There are a minimum of claims to the brakes. Failure of the ABS unit occurs, but not too often, and there are enough contract parts. Sensor sometimes fails. Otherwise, there is only one complaint. A smaller resource of pads, the original one simply burned with active movement in the city, often the resource from replacement to replacement is 20,000 km. Powerful motors and heavy weight play a role. If we are talking about rear-wheel drive cars, then everything is extremely reliable, well except for the automatic transmission itself. The resource of drive shafts with powerful motors is small, about 80-100,000 km, but they lend themselves well to repair. On four-wheel drive cars, problems should not be expected from this side of the transfer case. It's just quite reliable and capable of going out a couple of hundred thousand kilometers with a native chain and bearings. The intermediate wheel drive shaft is passed through the engine crankcase and the bearing fail relatively quickly and the motor itself can be damaged. And it is not always possible to replace the bearings, they literally break bake in their seats. With V12 engines and all automatic transmissions of the 722.6 series was installed. However, with such power, all its problems with a small resource of blocking linings for gas turbine engines are many times complicated, and one cannot say it is problem-free and runs for a long time. Rather, on the contrary, the resource before the bulkhead was reduced to 100-120,000 km, and the likelihood of spontaneous breakdown again increased, despite the strengthening and powerful cooling. With frequent oil changes once every 30,000 km or more, and any driving style, the resource is still decent, but cars that have passed more than 200,000 km without an automatic transmission bulkhead are practically not found. However, with the 722.9, a new 7-speed automatic transmission, which was originally considered one of the chips of the model, the 221 was even less fortunate. Unsuccessful design, constantly overhead, valve body, oil contamination, low clutch life. All this, and even a bunch of childhood diseases of the design from the very beginning, prevented most owners from enjoying the car. Almost all automatic transmissions were repaired under warranty, with the replacement of weld bodies, torque converters, and sometimes complete assemblies. The pre-styling W221 had the earliest revision of the automatic transmission. All the other bodies, the E and C class, received this unit much later in modified form. Problems were fixed, and now even early revisions of this box can be considered quite satisfactory in terms of availability and number of failures. If, of course, the car has gone through all the recalling campaigns. 
Unfortunately, there were many owners who, as a matter of special pride, present the fact that they have refused all upgrades and repairs, since the mileage of their cars is less than 50,000 km. And among the cars from the United States, there are also similar unique. Now such a low-run car is a very convenient tool for pumping money out of the car services. The box will break for sure, there is no doubt about it for a minute. With the competitive calculation of the price of spare parts for an automatic transmission overhaul, it turns out about 300,000 rubles, not counting the work. But if the approach is correct without quotes, then the amount is reduced by three times. But all the same, such cars should be avoided. If there are no records of work on automatic transmission in the service book, this is the reason to be worried. By the way, this automatic transmission has a strong mechanical part, so it transfers powerful motors and other of magnitude better than its predecessor. The turbocharged S500 with the M278 engine get along well with it, no worse than the much less powered S350 with the M272 engine. Today automatic transmission is the biggest headache of these cars, in addition to the constant risk of motor problems. In addition to the factory upgrade, frequent oil changes, a low temperature box thermostat, a large additional heat exchanger and an additional external fine oil filter are strongly recommended. In general, a full set of improvements for modern loaded automatic transmission of any brand. The title motors of the M272 and M273 series have already been repeatedly criticized for the quality of the design and its resource. High price and low timing resource, unsuccessful intake manifold, weak catalyst, leaks and the risk of piston group scuffing. On the S-Class, problems are compounded by prolonged idling for office cars. Overheating of the engine compartment, tie layout of the cooling system, fan and ECU failures, as well as a large mass of cars. As a result of the scuffing on the M273 and other aluminum V8s, it is a very common phenomenon here. And there are many cars that gradually smoke for years, consuming a liter or another of oil per thousand kilometers, since overhaul is many times more expensive than any refills. V12 motors of the M275 series are based on the design of the older motors of the M112 and M113 series, but in practice they do not differ in the reliability of the later. The complexity of the design, the density of the layout and heavy loads on do, they, do their job. On this engine's problems with piston group scuffing are much less common, but in total they guarantee they generate no less difficulties. The liquid-cooled supercharging system requires attention at an age, the poor location of the turbines affects their resource. The advantages can only be attributed to a noticeably larger resource, provided that it is carefully operated, but there will not be any gain in terms of cost. Unless, of course, the buyer V12 car is thinking about cost and all. Fresher motors have appeared on restyled cars since 2010. First of all, these are the direct CGI versions of the V6 units of the M276 series, which can be considered one of the most successful gasoline engines for the W221 as well as the new V8 of the M278 series. V6 of the new series differ not only in direct injection, they have a different camber angle, a simpler timing and in principle simple cast iron liners instead of the fragile elusive. As a result, the number of failures in the piston group is practically zero, but the power system with piezo injector causes a little more problems. There were some difficulties with the timing resource, tensioners were changed on the motors. Due to the very low operating pressure of the oil pump, problems also occur, the unit has become more sensitive to overheating and the type of oil used. But in general, the difficulties of these engines are solved under warranty and are not fatal. The turbocharged V8 of the M278 series is significantly more economical than its predecessors, the M273. But unlike those engines, it has a power system, again with direct injection and turbocharging. At the same time, the nozzles are piezo-ceramic with a limited resource and prone to failures very afraid of overheating. The problems are the same as on BMW engines, while it didn't do without the turbocharger, which also increases the risk of failures. The timing resource even decreased due to the unsuccessful design of the phase shifters, here their resource is often less than 60,000 km. While cars with these motors are relatively young, but we can already say that they have now become more reliable than the M273, they simply added new ones to the problems of the old family. They say that if it were not for the M271, the M278 would have been the company's worst unit in the latest decade. But there are a few complaints about diesel engines. A 3 liter diesel engines at the moment can be considered the absolute best choice for this car. Stable high resource, high power and relatively few weak points. In addition, with it the car is not prone to overheating. On this information about the problems of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, W221 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, 
I'm waiting for you in the comments.